I am concerned, Mama. It appears that the pirates I had you investigate are on the move. They creep ever closer to the dry docks, so I must assume they mean to target the Victory herself. That ship is the symbol of everything Lim Salaman Sa strives to become, and I will not allow these base scoundrels to lay a single finger upon her hull. We must apprehend them before they put their plans into motion. And you, Mama, are just the woman to do it. Without your capable assistance, I fear the security of the dry docks cannot be guaranteed. Not moments ago, my guards submitted reports of suspicious activity in the area. Pray begin your efforts by listening to one of their accounts firsthand. It matters not whom you choose to speak with, but be sure to question either Erswurst at the front gate or Sinango at the rear. Any suspect saboteurs you encounter during the course of your investigation are to be interrogated. Report any and all findings directly to me. Hail, adventurer. Glad to have another hand aboard to help shore up security. The gods know our reports would sit on Gimthana's desk gathering dust if it weren't for the assistance of those such as yourself. Speaking of reports, though, I saw one of those mangy pirates lurking around the cliff near Empty Heart. I'd take a closer look before he has a chance to cover his tracks. Spotted me, did ya? Well, you're too late what's to open is already open. You found me one of those pirates, did you? I knew you were the right adventurer to ask for aid. But what could these knaves be planning? What's to happen is already happening. Um, trouble, at the shipyard. Who did this to you? Out of nowhere. Stuck me good. Gods below, we are not prepared for this. The pirates, soldier, how many do they number? More than I could quickly count. Seem to be carrying, explosives? Then there is no time to lose. Mama, you heard the situation. Make your way to the shipyard and engage these intruders. I will see to this man's wounds, then follow after. Make haste, now.
Ga ha ha ha. Never reckoned it'd be this easy. Still don't trust those slimy bastards, but their plan worked like a charm. Duh. What are you doing, you great bloody fool? Shut your trap, boy. This'll all be over soon. All that's left now is to blow this ugly pile of driftwood into splinters. Why would you do such a thing? Have you any idea how important this ship is? What it represents? I, and that's what makes it all the sweeter. Whatever it takes to knock some sense into me treacherous, backstabbing son. Imagine, a boy o' mine giving up the pirate life to become a ship, right? And build in a bleeding maelstrom vessel at that? What under limb lanes wide, green ocean made ye take up with these self-righteous shites? You're the one with no bloody sense, duh. Don't you see? The pirates had their glory days, but that era is over. I wondered why Atberm never spoke of his father. I never would have thought. This ship's a symbol all right of everything what went wrong with the world. And I mean to shatter it into a hundred thousand pieces. Kimthida. Mama. Pray beat the tar out of this bloated sea slug, and make sure no harm comes to the victory. I must be getting old, letting some green venturer get the best o' me. D.A. That's one big bloody ship. Big, and nasty looking. Ya made that, did ya? My thanks, Mama. I shudder to think what may have become of the victory without your intervention. The pirates have made a right mess of things I'd best get to sorting out the docks. And my thoughts could use some sorting out as well. Ever did my father have a way of turning my life upside down? Pray convey my thanks and my apologies to Gimpita.
How fair you, Mama? I cannot begin to thank you for the role you played in preventing this madness. You defended more than a simple ship you saved the budding hope of Lim Salaman saw from a violent demise. The day was yours. It seems our security regimen will require much in the way of improvement if we are to truly keep the dry docks safe. Atberm apologizes. Well, I suppose I can understand why he would feel responsible for his father's actions. Of all those involved, this incident was hardest on him. But, in time, I believe he will come to a single conclusion, the most fitting way of moving past his anguish is to see the victory completed and in the water. Ah, by the by, the pirates we defeated have been handed over to the Yellow Jackets. Rainer's men will be taking over the investigation. Before the Yellow Jackets moved in, however, we recovered a most unusual object. Should you have the time to spare, I would ask of you another favor. Mama. In light of your role in recent events, there are few others to whom I would entrust this task. Since last we spoke, a curious missive has been discovered amongst the personal effects of Atsapfen, the pirate behind the plot to sabotage the victory. This missive was penned in the most unusual script a script we believe to be some manner of code. Needless to say, anything which a proven enemy of Lim Salam and Saw deems worthy of enciphering is like to be of great interest to the Maelstrom. Unfortunately, none among us can make any sense of the message. In cases such as this, I am told the Yellow Jackets are wont to turn to Baderan and his convenient, connections. Thus I would have you deliver this missive to the proprietor of the drowning wench. Into his hand, and no other, do you understand? Ahoy there, Mama. I've been hearing about your deeds at the dry docks. Atberm laid out the entire tale for me. Poor Saad was still reeling at his old man's part in the business, but at least he kept the victory from being sunk before she'd sailed. And for that, I owe Yemi thanks. Yemi you really made a name for yourself here in Limsa, lass. Folk know that when they need summit doing. Eh. You need summit doing? And what might that be? Yeah want someone to read a message written in funny letters for yet? And Gimpita thought I might know a man as could. Well, let's see it, then. I... 
I reckon I might know a canny bugger what can read stuff like this. Ugly sod by the name o' Baderin. Yeah no, you're like one o' me regulars now, mama. Yeah he never let me down yet, and, navigator help me, I reckon I can trust yet. Gimpito was right to want this message deciphered. We've got us some trouble brewing, air, and no mistake. Get ready for action, and I'll explain. Good to obey ya aboard, lass. Now then, where to start? Back when I was younger and nastier, I earned me living as a sellsword. In that business, if ye wanted to know what your enemy was up to, you had to learn to read the orders ye prized from the cold dead ants of his mates. That's how I came to know how to read your message. Truth be told, the script was only too bloody familiar. Them Sahajan letters, lass. And I should know I've e gutted more fishback messengers than I can count. It gets worse, though. The plan to blow up the victory is all in air, right down to the fine details. Looks like they meant to raise eight kinds of L in Western Lawnacy, then it the Maelstrom's new flagship in the confusion. The point pain, the attack on the victory weren't the act of a few rebellious pirates twas a key part of some canny bastard's grand plan. But if I'm reading this aright, the attack itself came much too early. I'll wager they panicked when they saw Ye was on 2M, rushed in to do the job, and buggered it up. Them tattoo-faced bastards as they say was paying at Berm's old man, there with the serpent reavers, right? But none o' their crew was there, was they? Did they obey some it better to do, or what? Seven L's. I've got it all backwards. That mess at the victory that was meant to be the bloody distraction. The fishbacks ain't interested in the maelstrom's baby. They're after men, just like they've always been. They're sending their pirate lackeys after a civilian target. This bit about raising L in Western Lawnacy, that's where it'll be. Summit tells me Swift Perch is about to get it, and it art. Here's a rough translation of the message. Take it to Commodore Rayner at the Coral Tower, and tell him he's in for a busy day. Oh, and give him an end, eh. Ye can be damn sure you'll need one. Yes, I am Rainer. Ah, you must be the adventurer whose name seems to be on everyone's lips. You are to be commended for your part in thwarting the plot to destroy the victory. Now, what can I do for you this day? 
you bear an urgent message from Vaderan? Why do I get the feeling that my hopes for a quiet evening are about to be cruelly dashed? Tell me, what is afoot? An assault on Swift Perch? But we've seen nothing to suggest the Serpent Reavers are massing for an attack. Even so, it would be foolish to discount the possibility Vaderan is rarely wrong about such matters. I will marshal the Yellow Jackets for battle immediately. The only question is where to send them. While I concur with Baderan's assessment that the attack on the dry docks was intended as a diversion, Swift Perch is but one of several possible targets for the main thrust. Commodore, sir. Report. It's the Sahajan, sir. They've mounted a large-scale assault on South Tide Gate, and threatened to overwhelm our defenses within the day. The garrison requests immediate reinforcements. By the navigator. It seems my decision has been made for me. Muster the troops and give the order to march. I, the Serpent Reavers are in league with the Sahajan. Which means there is every chance this assault on Tidegate may yet prove to be another feint. The fact remains, however, that we can ill afford to ignore it. And that leaves Swift Perch vulnerable to those pirate traitors. It is at times such as these that I wish the warriors of light yet walked among us. But wishes will avail us not. Foxy, you must serve in their absence. Make for Swift Perch with all haste and lend your strength to the squads I can spare for the settlement's defense. Commodore Rayner sent word we'd be getting reinforcements, but I didn't expect him to send you. You certainly look like you've seen your share of action, though you bear little resemblance to the wide-eyed whelp I met fresh off the ferry. In any case, do you know what you're fighting for here? This place Swift Perchid was rebuilt by folk who stood strong in the face of every hardship the calamity threw their way. And we're not about to let some fish-fancying scum claim the honor of being the ones who finally broke their spirits. Don't give those pirate bastards one bloody ILM, you hear me. Here they come. Here now, I thought all them yellow jacket worms was meant to be busy. That useless scrag ain't followed the plan, has he? Now what? Pull back and wait for our Sahajan brothers. Piss on that. We ain't turned and back empty-handed. Remember, no killing the small folk, or it'll be your blood what stains Lord Leviathan's altars. The yellow bellies ye can butcher at will. Them dirt-eaten slugs will be crushed under the full might of the serpent reavers. Seems Swift Perch was the main target after all. Squads 1 and 2, protect the townsfolk. Squad 3, you're our rear guard. The rest of you we meet their charge where we stand. Let us bear the Commodore word of our victory, or no word at all. Or Lim Salam and Sa.
roared. I'll gut all you yellow bellies and dance on your gizzards. Well fought the Reavers are beaten and scattered. I'll take some men and hunt down the stragglers. Oh, but there may be more of them lurking about, so don't let your guard down just yet. The source of her strength becomes clear. You may have bested the golem, but you will not fare so well this day. O oh, mournful voice of creation! Send unto me a creature of the abyss, my thrall to command that I may smite mine enemies. Your very being imperils the plan. You cannot be suffered to live.
that the wisdom of the paragons should be brought low, by mere mortals. Paragons, did he say? Then it is as I feared. They are known as the bringers of chaos, or Asians, to give them their proper name. It would seem our suspicions were correct it is they who have been manipulating the beast tribes. Pardon? You would know if we Shar Lions have encountered Asians before? I have never spoken to you of my homeland. How did you know whence I hail? Wait. I do begin to see. You have been blessed with a special gift. Are you alright, lass? If I'd known a mean bugger like that was hiding in the bushes, I would have left a squad or six to keep you company. Well, at least now we can call this kidnapping investigation to a close. Those reavers were the ones spiriting folk away in the dead of night, and this bastard here was pulling all the strings. A trifle simplistic, but not inaccurate. I came as soon as I sensed his presence, but I never thought to find such a scene of carnage. Yet we prevailed. And thanks to your heroic actions, I have learned much. I, heroic is the word. I don't want to think about what would have happened if you hadn't been here, friend. And your assistance is much appreciated, too, Lady Weishtala. Please give our regards to the science. I am glad to have played a role in bringing what I hope is an end to this disturbing spate of abductions. The thread of your fate forms a part of a most intriguing tapestry. Mayhap we will be afforded the chance to speak more in the near future. For now, however, you must see this particular tale to its conclusion. Pray send my greetings to Commodore Rainer. Foxy, eagerly have I awaited your return. Word of your exploits is already spreading through the ranks. My troops and I owe you a great debt of gratitude for your timely assistance. You have shown yourself to be possessed of a sure arm, a strong spirit, and sound judgment. 
Would that Lim Salaman Sa had more of your like? I have little doubt that you shall one day join the ranks of Eorzea's greatest adventurers. It is but a matter of time. Clearly, Vaderan's eye for potential remains as sharp as ever, though I doubt even he imagined you capable of such feats. Might you favor me with your own account of the day's events? Such victories bear retelling. Wajtala has been working with us for quite some time, you see. And she was only too willing to assist the Yellow Jackets in the kidnapping investigation, proving herself a stalwart ally of Limsalam and Sa yet again. Needless to say, after your part in thwarting the attempted sabotage of the victory, and the small matter of your deeds at Swift Perch, you too have proven yourself a valued friend of the Thalassocracy. Admiral. May I present to you Admiral Blayfieswin. So, this is the adventurer I've been reading about in the field reports. I am Melve Blufisvin, Admiral of Limsa Lominsa. On behalf of my people, I bid you thanks for the deeds you have done this day. A token of our gratitude. What worth is high regard without just reward after all? Ha! Since you first set foot in our city, my good friend Badaron and Commodore Rayner have taken turns at regaling me with tales of your exploits. Safe to say, they left an impression. Join me at the coming banquet. A seat of honor at the celebratory feast is the least I can offer the woman who foiled the Sahagin. Oh! <laughs> I seat at the feast! Oh, and don't be late. Your fellow guests will be eager to take the measure of their newest hero, and some do not take kindly to being kept waiting. Till then, may you walk in the light of the crystal, 